Hello everyone and welcome back to the Fluctus Channel. Since the advent of submarines in World War I, navies around the world were forced to confront a new and stealthy threat lurking beneath the waves. It wasn't until the latter half of World War II, however, that effective anti-submarine warfare tactics began to emerge. The challenge was twofold. First, to detect submarines hidden beneath the surface, and second, to neutralize them. A pivotal moment occurred on September 22, 1914, when the British submarine HMS E-9 torpedoed and sank the German U-15 in the North Sea, marking the first time in history that a submerged submarine was destroyed by another submerged vessel. Today, ASW has become a sophisticated domain of naval warfare. Modern surface warships are equipped with both active and passive sonar systems to track underwater threats. Once a submarine is detected, it can deploy a range of weapons, including homing torpedoes, anti-submarine rockets, and depth charges. The U.S. Navy commonly uses the Mark 54 and Mark 46 lightweight torpedoes, Among the frontline platforms for this mission is the Arleigh Burke-class Guided Missile Destroyer, one of the most advanced and versatile ASW-capable vessels in service today. Anti-submarine warfare is our ability to track, classify, and thought localize uh, submarines. Uh, we can, you know, detect them with sonar via active sonar or passive sonar. Active sonar, where we're actively putting sound into the water. Passive sonar, where we're just listening for different noises. Another vital tool in the hunt for submarines is the Sono Buoy, a compact air or ship deployed sensor designed specifically for underwater detection. These specialized devices float on the ocean surface while extending hydrophones beneath the water to gather acoustic information. Once deployed, sonar buoys transmit real-time data via radio signals back to monitoring aircraft or naval command centers. They are integral to modern anti-submarine warfare employing either passive sonar to listen for submarine noise or active sonar to emit pulses and detect returning echoes. Deployment of sono buoys is typically carried out by a range of fixed wing and rotary wing aircraft. In the US Navy, MH-60R Seahawk helicopters routinely deploy from destroyers such as the Arleigh Burke class, or designated DDGs, while the U.S. Marine Corps uses UH-1Y Venom helicopters to manually release sono buoys from the aircraft door, particularly during operations launched from amphibious assault ships. These sensors can be dropped to establish a temporary sonar barrier, sometimes called a listening chain, to detect submarines attempting to transit narrow waterways or choke points. Alternatively, they may be used for active contact confirmation, helping to fix a submarine's location for subsequent engagement. Through these methods, sonar buoys significantly enhance maritime domain awareness and naval defense readiness. Among the fixed wing assets employed by the US Navy for maritime patrol is the P-8 Poseidon, a highly advanced aircraft derived from the Boeing 737 airliner platform and operated exclusively from land-based installations. Designed to replace the aging P-3 Orion, the P-8 Poseidon is optimized for a wide array of missions, including anti-submarine warfare, anti-surface warfare, intelligence gathering, surveillance, and reconnaissance. 
equipped with state-of-the-art sensors, radar systems, acoustic processors, and electronic support measures. The P-8 excels at detecting, tracking, and engaging underwater and surface threats. It carries an arsenal that includes torpedoes, depth charges, and harpoon anti-ship missiles, enabling it to locate and destroy submarines or enemy vessels without needing support from ships or other aircraft. One of the most capable and successful platforms in anti-submarine warfare today is the Arleigh Burke-class guided missile destroyer. These versatile warships are equipped with an array of advanced sonar systems designed to detect, classify, and track submerged threats. In addition to the hull-mounted sonar located in the bow, which provides forward-looking detection capabilities, the ship also utilizes a towed array sonar system. This towed array is deployed far behind the vessel, where it is isolated from the ship's own acoustic noise, such as engine vibrations and propeller wash, thereby allowing it to detect faint underwater signatures at greater distances and with higher accuracy. Together, these systems form a layered sonar suite that gives Arkley Burke-class destroyers exceptional reach and precision in submarine detection and engagement making them a cornerstone of the U.S. Navy ASW operations. Arleigh Burke-class destroyers are equipped with MK-32 surface vessel torpedo tubes, arranged in triple launchers on both port and starboard sides of the ship. These launchers are designed to deploy MK-46 and MK-54 lightweight torpedoes, two of the U.S. Navy's primary weapons for anti-submarine warfare. The MK-54 in particular is the Navy's most advanced lightweight torpedo, combining the homing capabilities of the older MK-50 with the robust design of the MK-46 along with the modern digital processing to improve performance in challenging shallow water and littoral environments. These torpedoes are precision guided, utilizing active or passive sonar to autonomously home in on underwater targets after launch. Once fired, they can travel at high speeds to ranges of approximately 10,000 yards or over nine kilometers and engage targets at depths exceeding the maximum operational diving depth of most military submarines. This gives our Liebert class destroyers the capability to neutralize submerged threats long before they pose a danger to the ship or its allies. Torpedo launches against submarines are coordinated and executed from the ship's Combat Information Center, the nerve center of naval operations aboard an Arleigh Burke-class destroyer. Once a submerged contact is detected and classified as a hostile submarine through sonar and intelligence inputs, the CIC coordinates the onboard fire control systems to initiate a torpedo engagement. Submarines have undergone a remarkable transformation over the decades, evolving from basic underwater vessels into some of the most sophisticated multi-role platforms in modern warfare. Today's submarines are capable of launching precision strikes against targets thousands of miles away, all while remaining undetected beneath the ocean surface. Since the introduction of nuclear-powered propulsion, the capabilities and design of submarines have advanced dramatically, culminating in the development of cutting-edge classes, such as the Ohio and Virginia-class submarines. These vessels represent the pinnacle of undersea warfare technology, 
offering extended endurance, improved stealth, and unmatched strike capabilities. At the heart of their operations lies the control room, the central command hub where all critical functions converge. The control room serves as the submarine's nerve center, overseeing navigation, weapon systems, communications, and command and control operations. Traditionally located directly beneath the sail or coning tower in older submarine classes, its position was dictated by the requirements of optical periscopes, which needed a direct line through the hole to the surface. However, with the advent of non-hull penetrating photonic masts pioneered in the Virginia-class submarines, this restriction has been eliminated. Thanks to fiber optic technology, the control room no longer needs to sit directly beneath the sail. In the Virginia class, it has been relocated to the roomier middle deck, allowing for a more ergonomic layout and improved use of internal volume. Instead of peering through a traditional periscope, sailors now monitor high-resolution camera feeds displayed on LED screens. These photonic masts offer 360-degree visual surveillance, infrared imaging, and low-light capabilities, all integrated into two large vertical display panels within the control center. Modernization of the control room extends beyond visual enhancements. By removing the need for a periscope well, designers were able to integrate the sonar operation center directly into the control room. This streamlined configuration enhances crew coordination and situational awareness while optimizing internal space, crucial in the confined environment of a submarine. The result is a highly advanced, digitally connected command suite that exemplifies the technological leap made possible by nuclear propulsion and next-generation sensor systems. In addition to their sophisticated sonar systems, modern submarines are also equipped with radar systems, though their use is far more limited. Radar is generally ineffective while submerged, as radio waves are quickly attenuated by seawater. However, when a submarine is surfaced or operating at periscope depth, radar becomes a valuable tool for surface surveillance, threat detection, and navigational support. The radar mast is housed within the submarine's sail, alongside other critical components, such as communication antennas and photonic masts. When activated, the radar mast is extended above the surface, allowing the submarine to scan the surrounding environment for nearby vessels, aircraft, and obstacles. Engineered for acoustic stealth, modern submarines are extraordinarily difficult to detect. Their holes are coated with anechoic tiles. Propulsion systems are isolated to reduce vibration, and operational noise is minimized through meticulous design. Combined with disciplined operating procedures, these measures allow submarines to move silently through contested waters, often without their presence ever being known. The integration of radar, used sparingly and strategically, complements the stealth by providing critical situational awareness when brief exposure to the surface is necessary. Modern submarines are among the most lethal and strategical significant assets in any Navy's arsenal. Armed with torpedoes, cruise missiles, and in some cases, ballistic nuclear weapons, they possess the capability to deliver devastating strikes with precision and stealth. The presence of a hostile submarine operating undetected within territorial waters poses a serious threat to national security, potentially compromising a nation's sovereignty and destabilizing regional stability. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.